morning, everybody. As you can see, I have gone through, uh, I've actually gone through about 80% of the stuff in here. A lot of this is cores and things that I need to get rid of, um, or at least go through. It's just a lot of random stuff. But anyway, the purpose of this video is to start going over the lot that I picked up for 2,500 bucks. There is so much stuff that I'm gonna do this in parts. So this first part will be everything that I went through last night on the stream. A little bit later on today, we're gonna go through another massive chunk of stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll start tallying things up as we go. So without further ado, I went through all of this Atari stuff. So there's a bunch of box Atari. There's a, f a few uh, Intellivision games. And then there's about 100, it's about 105 Atari games in that box. Uh, as you can see here, I don't want to give you guys a, too much, but a little quick peek on some of the stuff that I picked up. We'll be going through all that, don't worry. Look at the amount of turbo graphics. Crazy. Um, so yeah, let's go inside here. That Atari stuff there is already claimed by a gentleman that came over and bought some stuff yesterday. And with that being said, uh, yesterday, Max, Max, get down. Max, get down. Get down, bud. Okay, there you go. Um, so yesterday I already sold, let me turn down the TV. I already sold uh, 600 and, I actually sold $800 worth of stuff yesterday, but only 620 or 30 of it came from the actual uh, lot of stuff that I got yesterday. Uh, so the stuff that you missed out yesterday that I already sold, I sold one N64 and one GameCube, and I sold some Game Boy games and about 70 Atari games. Um, the most expensive Atari game there was Pitfall 2, complete in box, and there was another loose Pitfall, uh, but the complete in box one goes for like 50, 60 bucks. And then there was all kinds of like, you know, four or five dollar games. Guy here locally collects, so uh, he came and picked up a bunch. Uh, the Game Boy games that I sold him consisted of Final Fantasy 3. Uh, what was another uh, big title? Uh, I don't remember, but nothing too crazy, but some solid stuff. Uh, Pokemon Red, a few others. So, yeah, I made like 600 bucks yesterday in total. I may be leaving out a couple of small things that I sold, but it's whatever. I don't want to drag on too long. Uh, this is what I went through last night. Uh, I'm going to start off with the Game Boy stuff here. Uh, this right here is all everything is tested this bag here. There's either lines on the screen uh, Two of them don't power up and that's the big bulky ones and the colors Don't have sound uh, That these are easy fixes for somebody that fixes these up. I'm gonna end up selling the uh, Same with the Game Boy Advance doesn't have sound. I'm gonna end up selling this bag here locally to somebody or I'll put it on eBay as is and uh, if somebody wants to take the time to uh, fix them, then they're gonna they're gonna be happy at the end of it. I just don't want to make time, and I don't even want to do it. So that's a quick little bag. Um, we'll go through some of the Game Boy stuff. There, there's there's quite a bit of it. First off, we have this box of loose Game Boy games, uh, Game Boy Advance. Nothing uh, nothing crazy in here at all. I think like the best one is a haggard label, uh, Fall of the Foot Clan, and then there's. Uh, Duke Nukem is well in here. Uh, all the rest are pretty much shit boxes, so I'm not even gonna go through that. Um, Dragon Warrior 3, I got the box and manual, but the game is missing. That's really expensive, so I'll still be able to get about 20, 25 bucks for the box and manual, that won't be a problem. Uh, Warlock is complete in box, and in fact, it's still got its wrappers and everything in there. Uh, game Watch Gallery, complete in box. Battleship, complete in box, and here's the big one. This is about a $90 game here, Canadian of course. Uh, Dragon Warrior 1 and 2 complete in box, and it just so happens that it is the best condition box out of all of them. Uh, also just thought I'd pull out this Pokemon Gold. Uh, haven't seen one of these in a while, this Pokemon Pikachu 2, one of the GS machines. These are going for $100 on eBay all day. So that was a nice little find. Uh, we got a black Game Boy Pocket, a 100, um, or the 001 uh, SP working perfect condition Game Boys and they got their backs this one doesn't um, these ones are really good these pink ones are 101s so I got two of them and yeah they are scratched up in the front but all of the screens 
on all of these Game Boys are in really, really good shape. Like, just really good shape. I say that now, and this one's actually got a scuff on it. <laughs> oh, Jeff. I literally picked the one that has a scuff on the screen. I would. I mean, I would. So, yeah, really, really good stuff. The uh, 101s go on eBay all day for 80 to 100 bucks, just without fail, every single time. Doesn't matter the outer condition. As long as the screens are in good shape, you're laughing. Um, so, yeah, I got Game Boy Color, another Game Boy Color. I think these all have the backs to them. Yep. This one is, uh, it's got like mold on it. I got to clean this up, but it does work. It's in rough shape, man. I'll sell that one really cheap. Um, I put a different color backing on there because I didn't have it. Uh, Game Boy Advance. So all of that stuff. Um, and then this is where things get crazy. Uh, first, I'll show you guys the good box Atari stuff that I found. This is complete in box. This goes for about 25, 30 bucks on eBay. Uh, the Defender Sealed. This is about 50 to 60 bucks on eBay all day. Uh, this is a rare one. I actually didn't even know Atari had Mario Bros. A little bit of uh, box damage, but it's complete in there. Uh, these are going for about 50 to 60 bucks. Uh, Atari complete in box, same deal, 50 to 60 bucks. Loose, they're not worth a lot, but with the box and manual. And we've got, I was going to say sealed, but it, it looks like it was opened. Uh, we've got a complete in box Donkey Kong, which also goes for about 50 bucks. So these are definitely eBay items that I'm going to put up on eBay. Um, I'll, I'll undercut kind of everybody there just to get a quick sale. Uh, all this Game Boy stuff, man, this is no joke. Like, this is a fair amount of money. Uh, and then we get to the Leisure Vision. Now this, my friends, is where I may have hit the jackpot. Uh, I, you can't even find Leisure Visions on eBay complete in box. They're going for like $150 outside of box. I don't want to open it, but it is in mint condition. Like the styrofoam's in there. The styrofoam is a little beat up, um, but the console itself is in immaculate shape. It looks like it hasn't even been used. Uh, so that I'm very excited about. But more so, all of these games. A couple of the boxes are haggard, but if I take one and I open it up, all of them are complete in box. All of them. And there are quite a few sealed ones in here as well. Um, the, it has all the numbers there. If you guys want to take a quick look at all the numbers, that one's four. Got some doubles in there, a lot of sevens and a lot of fours and 14s, I think. Uh, but I've got one through 19 missing six, number six. And then there's a bunch of uh, scattered ones. Um, I need your guys' help with this because I went on eBay to see how much these are going for. And just, there's maybe four or five loose ones that sold. I haven't seen one that has gone less than 50 bucks. Uh, some of them are going for $80. Uh, the consoles are going for a, a big amount of money and with a few games, even more. Uh, this right here, guys, honest to God, may have just paid for our entire lot. Um, I, I really truly believe that we have about $2,500 worth of games here uh, to the right collector. This is a gold mine uh, You just don't see this stuff pop up and when it does it, there's there's a bunch of bids on it uh, It sells quick and I just hit the mother load. These are all complete in box every single one of them all of them All of them that's I think there's two or three that don't have the inserts But I can always take that out of ones that are kind of in rough shape um, but they're all, they're all in such good condition. I mean, it's just crazy. So I don't know. Um, this is like a knockoff console and I'm pretty sure it was, it got licensed and then it got pulled or, um, this is also a knockoff of another console. It's, it's a very obscure, rare thing. There's not a lot of them out there. And this box that I found of all this stuff may have uh, paid for our entire lot. But with that being said, <clears throat> out of uh, all the Game Boy stuff that I got, and there's a box of uh, chargers and stuff like that for some of these Game Boys. 
Uh, out of all the stuff that I looked at last night, we were at eight, a little over eighteen hundred bucks. We'll say nineteen hundred dollars, and then we put a thousand dollars on top of that for the leisure vision stuff. All right, so that was being very conservative. So that, that I, I'm not even kind of counting this, but as of right now, we've got nineteen hundred dollars recouped. Um, I added the six hundred dollars, like six hundred twenty dollars that I sold yesterday. So that is added into that amount. So minus the 600 bucks, we got about $1,300 worth of Game Boy stuff and Atari stuff uh, out there. So pretty damn good. I'm really, really happy about this. We also got some loose ones here uh, for the Leisure Vision. And we did go through pretty much all these games. I'll be bundling a lot of these with those. This will be a lot of eBay stuff. So once again, if you guys are interested in buying any of this stuff, head over to my eBay. Link is in the description of this video. Go and follow me on eBay. I'm starting to post things now. Uh, it'll probably take me till the end of the week to really start posting up a lot of this, and I have a maximum amount that I'm able to put up because my account is relatively new. But uh, if there's anything that you guys see within these videos, <clears throat> feel free to uh, say it in the comment section. I'll put it up on eBay, uh, or you can join the fellowship group where I take a lot of photos and Instagram where I take uh, show you guys stuff on the fly, uh, which is a cool spot uh, as well. All the links to that are in the description below. We paid $2,500 for the lot of games. We are already at 1,900. 600 of it is already locked up and in my wallet. No joke, that's $800 in my wallet. I'm going to the bank to deposit it uh, in my wallet right now from selling all that stuff from yesterday. Uh, so this is just... Uh, <laughs> We're gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and guess we're gonna at least double our money because once again, let's go out here. <clears throat> once again, we haven't even counted any of this stuff. I mean, there's a power base converter new in box. There's another one loose sitting back there. There's these crazy, I, I don't wanna go through it all, man, but there's just some crazy shit. Oh, also. Um, downstairs, it's still downstairs. Oh, let me see here. Give you guys, give you guys a quick little peek. I'm not even using my stabilizer right now. I do apologize about the shaky cam. Um, so downstairs, watch this. Don't mind that mess. Uh, I also added this to the total. Um, there's some more stuff here. Where is it? Here it is. I also added this to the total. Uh, Kickmaster for the NES. Label damage up top there, but this is a hundred to hundred and ten dollar game. I will sell it for about 80, 90 bucks for a quick sale. I've already had a few people ask me if I had an extra copy of Kickmaster. So that's actually added into that $1,900 total as well. It's the only thing. Um, I wanna quickly show you guys. Uh, this is just a little quick preview. There's a bunch of Dreamcast, like Turbo Graphics inbox games. Uh, Sega Game Gear all kinds of stuff, but look at this holy grail. These are all manuals all boxes for NES Super Nintendo Sega you name it. They're they're all there and look at this Look at that I Hit the jackpot. I, I hit the fucking jackpot. So guys that is gonna be it for this video we will see you guys for part number two, uh, possibly tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow the latest, but I'm gonna be going through about another five hours of stuff uh, today on stream. So let me uh, take some photos of this and pack up. I'm going out on my motorcycle today. Gonna have a little bit of fun in the sun. I'm gonna hit the gym, look at my cat. Oh my God, Max. And uh, then I'll be streaming, guys. We'll see you guys soon.